Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, February 9th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So this has been an enormous day for the cryptocurrency market, and this will most likely be a day that people will remember in the future when basically Elon Musk said that Tesla was going to buy $1.5 billion into Bitcoin. So Bitcoin has rallied at the moment $14, give or take, uh, in one day. It is trading at all-time highs at this moment at uh, 44228 It has pulled back a little bit, but not a lot. At this point, we have received... Uh, that were the previous highs here of 41,788. That is most likely going to be our bottom. So this could pull back towards that level and then go higher. We could also pull back towards 40,000 and then go higher. So this looks like it is just going to continue rallying probably up to 45,000 first, then to 50,000, 55,000. And I would not be surprised if we went all the way to 100,000 uh, three to four months from now. So what is going to happen here is that Tesla, as one of the most famous companies in the world, and, and uh, Elon Musk as probably as the most famous uh, CEO at this, uh, at this point, and um, technically a guy that if he tweets something out, it will just explode. So it has an enormous influence. And... And if he is buying into this, um, then other people will follow. So major companies will continue to follow. Because nobody believed in Tesla, basically, um, a few years ago. Now everybody wants to be like Tesla. And he is kind of the guy that people are looking, what is, gonna, is, he, is he doing now? What is the next thing that he is going to uh, do? And if he looks at this and sees potential in the cryptocurrency market, then other people will jump on board and will start buying. So we may see an absolute um, um, frenzy of, of major investors go out and buy into cryptocurrency. Now, probably not just Bitcoin, but Ethereum and the other major cryptocurrencies. Um, yes, and we may see this rally continue for a very, very long time. So... Quite a very interesting day, and um, it is interesting to see where this basically will go uh, from one, two, three months from now, or probably one year from now. So it is a volatile market, but uh, there are other stocks, for example, that are just as volatile. It is, it uh, it has recently, the last month or two, the twenty exponential, the fifty have been very reliable support levels. So if we fall towards the 20 exponential or even the 50, that is basically major buying opportunities. So this will fall. So if you look, just look at the, at the Bollinger Band, we can see how far we're outside of the Bollinger Band. Not even here, we were not that outside of the Bollinger Band and we fell roughly 25%. So this will most likely fall towards at least 40,000, 41,000, these previous highs here and then it will continue to rally. We can also look at the weekly chart for Bitcoin. We can see that we are basically getting to the edge. We're again at 83 here in the RSI, significantly overbought, but pullbacks are still buying opportunities. I don't really see this is going to fall apart like it did in back in 2017, because sentiment at the moment is that this is a good investment. If Tesla is buying into this, then you should buy into this as well. That's basically what people will start to think now. So right now, pullbacks towards 40,000, that is probably going to be a buying opportunity. If you fall all the way down to the 20 exponential at 36,000, um, I don't think I will see that anytime soon, very honest. But it could happen. If that happens, then that is a major buying opportunity. Target at the moment is 45,000 and 50,000. So let's look at Ethereum. 
So these um, Ethereum and uh, Litcoin are two cryptocurrency I started buying into. So just so you know, I uh, I have not been a f- fan of cryptocurrency, but I have uh, put them into my long term portfolio. It's not something that I will uh, trade in the short term. I, this is a long term investment. And uh, the reason for that is because um, I see those two cryptocurrencies as um, having the biggest um, uh, potential of uh, of uh, of growth. If you are going to go into, for example, Bitcoin and uh, wanting to, uh, for example, um, increase your investment by 10x, that is most likely not going to happen. Not even, uh, probably if in, in five or 10 years from now, then it will happen. But it's very likely that that can happen, for example, in Ethereum or in Litecoin or, or some of the other major uh, cryptocurrencies. It's too late to invest in Bitcoin and expect um, even 5 or 10x in the short run. That is most likely not going to happen. You could probably double your money in, in one year time, but you're not going to uh, tenfold your money. But in the other cryptocurrencies, that is still a possibility. So if you look at the Ethereum, we can see that the technical indicators are, are fairly bullish here in the in the, for example the, sorry, the RSI, CCI, Stochastic is still um, flat and the MACD is bullish. But Ethereum has been outperformed Bitcoin significantly the last month and a half. We have reached the all-time highs here at the 1762, pull back a little bit, that is to be expected, even though if we pull back towards the 20 exponential moving average, that is major buying opportunities. Um, I don't think that this will fall lower than 1500 at this point. So 1500 is where we will, the 20 exponential will move and uh, it should be a, a price level where a lot of people uh, are going to buy into this cryptocurrency. We can look at the weekly chart as well and you can see that we are fairly overstretched, but pullbacks at this point are still buying opportunities. So let's look, uh, yeah, I could basically say target here will most likely be 2000. Um, I think that we're going to stretch this all the way to 2000 before we see a major pullback in Ethereum, probably up a point of, of, uh, of two to 300 points pullback when we get to three, uh, 2000. So let's look at, we had ADA. So I dropped XRP from the list and I added ADA because this is one of those cryptocurrencies that um, is expected to be the fastest growing cryptocurrency of 2021. It has nearly, it has more than um, more than doubled and uh, fivefold the last uh, few months, or basically in the March, in the in the month of uh, of January until now. It went from 0.17 all the way up to 0.68. So it has an enormous growth. Target here in the long term is 1.25 dollars uh, $1. for for this cryptocurrency. So, for example, these kinds of cryptocurrencies they are very volatile. But if you want to tenfold your money or even a hundredfold your money. That is basically these kinds of cryptocurrencies that you could take risk in. Uh, it is not possible to date for 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 Bitcoin to have uh, you to gain that amount of money uh, by investing in Bitcoin. It is probably more is safer, but these are the ones that you really really um, earn a lot of money from if you if the if you get it right. For example, if you entered your money here. You would have fivefold or sixfold your money in just one uh, one and a half month. So at the moment we are significantly overstretched here. Uh, we may see a pullback. We could see an actually aggressive pullback if, for example, Bitcoin starts to pulling back. It could fall all the way down to zero point fifty. That is where I think a lot of buyers will come in. Twenty exponential moving average is here, and we have the first Fibonacci retracement at zero point. 47. So that is 
probably what we're going to see at some point. So a, full, a pullback of roughly 30, 40%, that is, that is fairly likely for this cryptocurrency. But as I said, this is expected to be a major competitor to Ethereum and is said, it is estimated that this could go as high as $10 uh, within the next um, two to three years. So pull back towards 50, 0 0.50, that is a major buying opportunity for this cryptocurrency in a hold for the long run. That's That would be my strategy, that is my strategy, is basically to hold this for three, maybe five years before selling it. So let's look at Litcoin. So as you can see, we have rallied quite significantly today. We are getting fairly overstretched here. Should, uh, should expect a pullback maybe to 150 before going higher. So target here is the previous highs of 184. That is very likely that we're going to hit that in the next uh, two to three weeks. Technical indicators are looking fairly bullish. There's a lot of room to the upside. 61 in the RSI is very low uh, when it comes to cryptocurrency. They can get all the way up to uh, 95 in the RSI before we ever see a pullback. But when that happens, we get things like this. You lose uh, one third of the value of the cryptocurrency. So the reason why I bought into this is because this is looking more like uh, behavior of a commodity it does have these major pullbacks here but major uh, support line for example uh, are the 50 moving average the 20 expansion moving average that is looking very reliable it is quite stable you can see the movement here how it bounces off the 20 exponential and also here how it bounces off the 50 moving average and uh, long term this could actually go all the way up to 1,000 and therefore you could basically tenfold your money in uh, probably in the next year or two. At the moment, pullbacks towards 150, that is a buying opportunity. Target here in the short term is 184. If that breaks, then we're going to 200 and most likely to 250 uh, for let's go. So let's look at NEO. So also here, a major rally. Do we expect a pullback towards uh, around these previous highs here, at roughly uh, $26. So we are going to go higher in this cryptocurrency. We can see that we just opened again here and we're outside of the bullish band. So it's still bullish. You can look at the technical indicators. They are all very bullish at this point. So I just don't hope that we are going to see this go parabolical. I do prefer that we just go gradually to the upside instead of just seeing these major moves and just break down. It will also be better for this market if it became less small though. And that's what I hope, but it is completely unrealistic. It is supply and demand. There is no central bank that goes in and basically tries to, to, um, to uh, stabilize this market whatsoever. It's just market conditions that that are driving this and therefore it will also be very volatile but if we manage to take out these previous highs of 28 then we're going to 30 then then we're going to 40 35 and 40 and then be and then beyond but pullbacks towards the previous highs here roughly 25 26 dollars that is your entry to this market so, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, bell button, see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.